What is up guys, Casper here, and I am doing a review on Cinema 4D R13. Yeah. So, as you can see here, new logo compared to the old Cinema 4D R12 and under. Um, I have the demo, yeah, but I'm going to be getting the actual version pretty soon. Um, if you're going to look at some of the differences, you know, Cinema 4D R12, this is the basic stuff here. But if you open up R13, it's a little bit different. Generally the same, but a little bit different. So I'm actually going to half these windows up and move that, that side, this, a little more, or a little smaller. And this is always a pain to do, I'm trying to get them perfect, and that should be fine. Alright, so R13 is on the left, R12 is on the right. So, first thing you guys will notice is the little point, line, and face mode are completely different, redesigned. There's a magnet here, enable snapping, uh, axis modification, then the texture axis mode, which I'm not really too familiar with. I'm pretty sure it's this one right here, which uh, probably it is. <laughs> but uh, so you know, as this standard stuff, the layout instead of being right here is actually right there. I'm actually gonna get out of R12 right now. That way, I can focus more on R13 and then show you the actual differences. Okay, so yep, as you can see, the layout is now on the right top right hand side you can change your layout from there um, you get an easy access to the content browser instead of opening up a new window so I can just go back 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 uh, back again go to my presets default don't have anything there from studios characters I can get an animated teapot that looks pretty legit if you ask me yeah we'll get a walk a silly teapot. Alright, enough of that. Dude, I could watch this all day. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let me just uh, go into some other stuff. So, you can go back to your objects, you can go to your structure. So, if you were to click an object, the stage, and go to structure. I'm not really familiar with it. I, I'm not really familiar with structure, but I know it pretty much has some stuff. <laughs> Alright, so I'm actually going to go back to my Untitled, which is my basic document. Um, the splines, the color changed, and there are different colors for the uh, hand-drawn splines right here. And then, of course, the other splines where you just adjust the size and all that are in blue. Uh, shapes, or primitive objects, nothing really changed here. Figure, same thing. Um... Let's see, nothing new, nothing new. The null object has been moved from its previous position down here somewhere. Uh, pretty sure. No new nerves. Oh, whoops. All this stuff, same stuff right here in the uh, array tab. Uh, there's one new thing in the effector type things. Uh, it's called... Uh, Um, I don't think it's this placer. I'm pretty sure it's collision. Uh, it does something cool when you use it. It's kind of, you know, hard to use. I haven't really gotten it completely down on how to use it, but it's pretty cool if you get it, if you manage to get it. Get it right, actually. <laughs> you got the uh, floor objects. Right here, so you got the floor, sky, cloud. Oh, you got a cloud tool now. I didn't even see that. Let's try and make something. So floor, actually, let's go with a sky. Get rid of that. Cloud tool. What's it doing? Make me a cloud. Nah, I don't think it's working like that. Oh, I have a cloud. A fluffy cloud. Oh, another thing. It depends wherever you have the mouse and then you zoom in and out with your mouse button, it'll zoom in there. So if I want to go down here, We'll zoom in there, up there, that point, 
It's weird. I kind of don't really like that. The little orbital rotation, it goes in the opposite direction as R12. Uh, I've noticed that. I don't know if that's just in the demo or the full version. Um, what else do we have? Camera, we have a stereoscopic 3D camera, which is pretty much, I think, the red and blue camera. Uh, that or it's like the new 3D that is, uh, it just looks weird and you just need the, sp the special glasses and you get to see them. The lights have their own category now. You got sunlight, which is pretty cool. Infinite light, area, spot, all this other stuff. Sunlight, I, ooh. Never really seen the sunlight before. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm just gonna get rid of that. Um, render settings. There, I just have some new stuff on. Just trying it out. Uh, we got subframe motion blur is new. Uh, don't know if remote is. Lens effects. Pretty sure that was there before. All the basic stuff. There's an added watermark, which tells you where it is. And all that stuff. Uh... I'm actually going to get rid of that. Stereoscopic is a default option, and it's pretty much 3D, of course. So, default, you know. Ambient occlusion, global illumination, same stuff, like always. Um, you can change the uh, render settings, send, uh, render thing. Let's get the physical render settings, basic properties, all that stuff. I'm going to go back to standard because that's just what I use. Um, let's make some text and show you some new, some new stuff. Uh, MoGraph, nothing new here. Just get some standard Mo text. Casper, center it up. Cool thing right here, the font. Instead of having to open up a new window, it opens it up in this little thing right here, which is better for me because on a Mac it didn't really show you the font. It was just a little bit confusing. Um, so I'm just going to use Made in China, and that's pretty cool. I made a material earlier, same stuff. I uh, don't really think it has anything different on the materials side of this. Change the color, make it a little more blue. Um, I know there's something in the materials. Uh, ch -ch -ch not really sure it's not really that big of a deal though you guys can obviously mess around with this demo and all that um, everything up here the creates the same pretty much select you know naming tool don't know that measuring construction the tools have changed of course like anything never seen any of these I'm gonna try them out later they have a mesh tab which is different um, all your create, delete, split, and all that stuff. Subdivide is in there, is in the commands under mesh. Animate, auto key, all that. Pivot, nice. Simulate, cloth, dynamics. I'll show you how to use the uh, rigid body and all that in a minute. Particles, thinking particles, hair, all that stuff. Render, same stuff. MoGraph, nothing new. Character, uh, this is mainly for uh, animation. So you can go through there. Plugins, none of my plugins actually work, which sucks. Scripts. Oh, geez, I don't know what I did. Right clicked. Huh. Um, they don't have a Python tab anymore. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with really my uh old plugins. So the render settings, this is the picture view render type thing. This thing right here, render settings. If you want to render region, take it. Bam. Uh, it won't work. Well, none of my stuff's coming up because I don't have a light on my scene. So I'm just going to put a material on real quick. Add a light because, you know, global illumination kind of needs a light. And render. Yeah, so. Uh, they did something new with the rendering. Not really sure what it was. Apparently, it's supposed to go a lot faster. Um, down here, you notice the buttons are bigger, so it's like you're handicapped or something. Like, really, Max on? I don't mind it, though. Uh, the sound button's gone on the bottom. I don't know if that's in animation mode or what it, where it is. 
the show's frame, so let's go 100. Oh, I don't no, don't even know what this does. Probably frames per second, I'm guessing. So, let me actually change it to like 250 and then... Nope. I'm just going to go back to 30. This right here, these two buttons change from keyframe to keyframe. Previous, previous keyframe, next keyframe. Play, frame up, frame down, beginning, end. Yeah. So this is pretty much it. Of uh, I like it. I like it so far. Oh yeah, forgot to mention. If uh, you want the rigid body, you can just right click on whatever you need, and it's under simulation tags. All of your st oh, damn it. <laughs> My bad. It's under simulation tags. Everything here. So let's see if I can. No, I can't move it. Ah, oh, I got to deal with that later. So simulation rigid body. At a floor. Simulation, rigid body, and play. Yep. So it's simulating. You know, I'm just gonna. There you go. Well, I gotta. Duh. I don't feel like doing it. But yeah, you guys pretty much get it. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I will be doing tutorials on this program very soon. So once again, peace out.